Now let's have a look at TextHelp's PDF Annotation and Accessibility Tool, now called Orbit Note, which was formerly called PDF Reader. Here I am in Google Classroom. I'm going to create an assignment. And in this assignment, I'm going to add from Google Drive a PDF and make a copy for my students. I was just working on it, so it's in my recent tab. Now that I've added it, I can make a copy for each student, go through all of the settings on the right, double check that I've made a copy for each student, and then assign. In the teacher view, I can look at the assignment, I can see the template here, and I can go over and look at the student work right here. Clicking on an assignment goes to the grading portal. After a few seconds, it loads the PDF document and the Orbit Note toolbar. As a teacher, I can use the reading tools and the annotation tools on the right to write feedback and annotate this document. Students also have this toolbar when they open the PDF in Google Classroom. Let's go take a look at what it looks like for the student. Okay, now I'm gonna open up my assignment. I actually see that it's posted right here on my uh, front page in Classroom. I can go right to the assignment from here if I like. And I can see I have my PDF assignment right here from my teacher. I can open it up. And it's only to open up with the text help PDF reader tool are already loaded in and I've got my tools ready to go. So first direction, circle how I'm feeling. I'll grab the freehand drawing tool. Maybe select a blue pen, change the thickness if I like. And I'm feeling like this kind of want to be Yoda looking guy. All right, next option, highlight the sentence using the highlight tool. So I can use my highlighter, grab the blue highlighter, select, and then click highlight. All right, moving on. Fill in the table using the typewriter tool. Translate from English to pencil, or from, from translate from English to Spanish. Well, I don't know what that, that word is for pencil. I can use my translator tool, select it. Ah, a piece. So now I can use maybe a copy and paste. Close that, grab my typewriter, click in here. And ah, look at that. Translated already. Okay. Use my text box. Remove text boxes, get rid of extra ones. Anything I'm doing here, I can redo or get rid of. I like that. Same thing with the annotation that I did earlier. And say, so, you know, we're good. I put a box around each noun in this sentence using the shapes drawing tool. So we also have the shapes drawing. I'll grab the box. It's got the same color I picked from before. I believe box is a noun. Noun is probably a noun. Let's go with noun. Shapes is a noun. Tool is a noun. All right. This looks good to me. And I'm finished my work. I can go back. When I view the assignment, I can now turn my work in. And let's confirm that I'm attaching this file. Yep. There we go. I can unsubmit as well, make some changes, turn it back in. So now we're back in teacher view. I'm looking at the assignment from the teacher classwork panel. And here's the assignment. And I'm going to go ahead and open it to see how the students are doing. I clicked on turned in. So it just shows the students that turned it in. I could also click on assigned. Or I can click all students and see all of them. And I'm going to go ahead and open the first assignment to grade. Okay, so the assignment loads, the annotations load. I can start looking through the student's work. I can use the annotation tools to write feedback if I want to. I can also use all of the Google Classroom tools for commenting and grading and adding comments. Looks great. I'm going to give that student a 100 and I'm going to return it to them. Now I'm going to go to the next student. It says assigned, which means they didn't turn it in yet. And I can't return it because they haven't turned it in. Let's see how they're doing. All right, very good, very good. And I notice there's a comment over here, kind of hidden. 
Can you explain to me again how to translate? Words from English to Spanish, thank you. All right, so I can reply right here with a response. It looks different than the Google commenting tools, but it works the same way. And I would, I would explain that you can select text and use the translator tool. And there it is. I didn't mean to use that word though. Uh, pencil. Lapis. Lapis. Okay, so I would write an explanation in here to the student. So I just wrote a reply, select the text, then click the translator tool. I'm going to send the comment, and now the student has the comment. So that's basically it. You can upload PDFs to your Google Drive, deliver them through Google Classroom, make a copy, and all of these annotation tools, the reading tools and the annotation tools work for the student and for the teacher. And that is because we're logged into the Chrome browser correctly with our district credentials, and we have the extensions that installed automatically. For PDF annotation and accessibility in Google Classroom and Google Drive, PDF Reader is now Orbit Note.